when Mercury is in retrograde and the only thing that you want to do is have some coffee. I mean, you know, you have to do that even when Mercury is not in retrograde. So. Hey guys, what's happening? It's Mercury retrograde. Oh, such a fun time of the year, right? Right. Am I right? It's kind of like Christmas, but like not at all. Okay. This is Meshi with Pets and Wellness with Meshi. Welcome back for another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about Mercury retrograde. Dun, dun, dun. Cue the horror music. So I wanted to talk to you about it because it's, it's also new moon, by the way. But we're not going to focus on the new moon. We're going to be focusing on what does it mean when you talk to your friends and they're like, oh no, it's Mercury retrograde. So, and you're kind of sitting there like, what are you talking about, woman? Like, what does that even mean? You might have seen sort of coincidences or certain and synchronicities that sort of happen and sometimes you hear people sort of blame it on Mercury retrograde and you might not really have much of a clue as to what they're really talking about. Who else is excited? I, I don't think anybody is that it's Mercury retrograde. Okay, so in today's video, we are going, if you have like no idea what I'm talking about, we are going to be talking about what does it mean that it's Mercury retrograde how does that impact you? And just in general, why are people talking about this? Like, what's the big hype up? So if you wanted to see my thoughts and also like how you can actually work with this planet and how that's impacting us rather than, you know, like working against it, then just stay tuned and let's get started with the video. Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, what is retrograde? Retrograde just means that it's moving backwards or it's seemingly moving backwards. And we are talking about, the reason why this is all hyped up is because we are talking about how the planets is impacting the earth and then how that's really impacting us. And basically, Mercury and every single planet that's around Earth has a certain personality. It has a certain characteristic that it seems to be impacting people. So Mercury happens to be the planet that is sort of responsible for communication, media, travel, and technology. At least that's sort of the that's sort of what's been shown that it has influenced the most. So usually when people are freaking out that it's Mercury retrograde, then what that means is that seemingly Mercury is moving from the east to the west instead of from the west to the east. And so it's seemingly moving backwards, which means that it's sort of like if you have read Fancy Nancy's backwards day, that's kind of what it feels like for a lot of you out there, especially if you're super in tune with the lunar cycle, which you know that I, I'm working on it, we're learning about it. And if you're learning about astrology, then this might sort of give you a little bit of an explanation of why certain things are happening in your life the way that they are. And just keep in mind that for each astrological sign, it will impact you differently. So for a lot of you out there, you might be freaking out or you're really bracing yourself because it really, you really do feel that, that astrological shift whenever a Mercury actually goes retrograde. It just, it becomes a time when, you know, flights are being canceled, you know, your computer crashes, or this would be the time when you're really noticing, like you, you're having more arguments and fights with people, or you're just really being just truly misunderstood. And and then, you know, then the next step from that is that people end up blaming, you know, Mercury retrograde for being late for work. So I thought that I would kind of talk to you a little bit about it of what that really means and then how we can actually work with it instead of fearing it. So the whole conversation is going to be about that today. So here's the thing. So how, but first of all, so now that we understand sort of what's going on with Mercury and why, and Mercury is going about four times faster than the Earth. So a lot of the times, like it might seem like it's moving backwards, but really it's just moving so fast that it looks like we're moving backwards, but it's really not moving backwards. Trust me. I mean, I haven't seen it. So, you know, like don't really take my word for it, but just do some research and then I'm pretty sure that if you Google it, 
Google will have a camera up there somewhere where you can actually see Mercury and then you can wave at it. It'll be a good day, trust me. Here's my thing about this whole Mercury retrograde. And I think that this is sort of where we can really go, go and dive off into the deep end. We, we can really take anything and everything that is surrounding us and we can really turn that into a negative and we can really turn that into a source of fear. And my hope is that you educate yourself enough or well enough where really you just kind of understand the basics and then after that you sort of choose for yourself of how you really want to work with the energies around you. And in this case, it just happens to be an astrological sign and a planet called Mercury. So it's kind of up to you how you interpret it and how you relate to it. My hope is that you will relate to it like, cool, I learned something, now I'm no longer fearing it. I took the fear completely out of it because the fear was just coming from lack of information. And now I can work with it because I'm going to watch my behind. Okay. so understand that mercury is responsible for communication and it's responsible for technology and for media and that's great and travel okay can you be a little bit more careful when you're driving by the way it's going to go from march the 5th until march the 28th so does that mean that from march the 5th until march the 28th you will not get into your car you're not going to be checking your phone you're not going to get on social media you're not going to check your emails you're not going to use any form of technology no, it does not mean that. What that means is that you just need to kind of watch your back. You need to take extra precaution. Understand that it's, you need to, this might be the time when you're going to be restarting old projects from a brand new perspective. This is also the time for you to really tie up loose ends, just things that are sort of lingering. I am noticing that for myself. I mean, in the past week, if nothing else, like I'm, I feel like we're rambling here. So basically I've seen two different perspectives when it comes to Mercury retrograde. People that are super into astrology and then they, they basically base their life on astrology and then people that are really scientifically driven and then they base base it on evidence-based information so and they kind of say well if science is not backing up and backing up that mercury is responsible for communication and technology then we're not going to believe it i'm sort of in the happy medium in the middle because i don't think that you really in order for you to be spiritual and in order for you to really believe in astrology you really need to go like dive off into the deep end and become a shaman but i also don't think that everything needs to be explained by science and i think that it's a healthy dose of skepticism is always perfect and i think that if you kind of look at anything and everything can be interpreted in a positive and a negative way it can be interpreted based on a a chance for you to create something new versus a, you know something to fear like you can kind of look at mercury retrograde like that can be a thing that you're going to be blaming for being late or for being forgetful or just being a complete jerk to your partner or you can really look at it like okay energies are weird right now um, communication might be off okay cool what can I do with this what is this going to teach me what is going to bubble up emotionally and mentally for me and my family so that we can kind of rock with this energy and maybe this is probably not the time when I'm going to be you know making life-changing decisions but maybe this is going to be the time when I'm going to be checking dotting my eyes and checking my exes you know what I mean like maybe this will be the time when I'm going to take extra precaution take extra time take you know like just take extra time and just really double check my work you know, like when you're writing a test and then they're like, okay, but just make sure that you double check your work. And you're like, yeah, 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 I got this. And then after that, you get like five of them wrong because you didn't double check your work. Mercury retrograde should be an invitation for you to really double check your work and really just kind of take a look at and see sort of like where you can, where can things sort of go haywire and what is coming up for you? Because all things will be resurfacing and I have noticed that personally things that I have been putting off like I'm not gonna deal with it I'm not gonna deal with it and then I have to deal with it and I think that those are all good opportunities for you to really take some time and reevaluate what's working and what's not working just like any time of the year really like whenever you're looking at the new moon or you're looking at mercury retrograde I think that it's a time for us to really just take a moment and really reflect and just double check if things are still in alignment. I think it's more of a check-in for alignment thing than it is a fear thing. Like it's something that we need to fear. It's fear if you give it power. Don't give it power. 
You know what I mean? So that's my thing on that. And then also just understand that it's a time where there's going to be some changes and some shifting happening. And if you understand that, then you're not really expecting miracles out of yourself for the next two weeks basically. That's that's sort of the zest of it. So if you take nothing else out of this, just understand that Mercury is in retrograde between March 5th until the 28th. Understand that right now you're definitely going to have to take some precautions. So maybe leave a little bit earlier. Just try not to be a complete jerk to your partner. You know, I mean, if he's a jerk to you, then, then what else are you going to do, right? But, <laughs> but honestly, this would be the time for you where a shift is happening cosmically and otherwise. Don't let that be the excuse for you to being tardy and don't let that be the excuse for you to really not take ownership for your life because at the end of the day, it's all based on interpretation and what you give it power to. And I kind of like that idea that this could be your time to really take that control back and be like, okay, cool, everybody is going haywire, what can I do? How can I contribute? How can I help so that things don't go haywire? Does that make sense? Maybe, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have trouble with Mercury retrograde. I have been noticing massive communication issues within my family for the past week, just leading up to this energy. And I never really zoomed in and I never really tuned into this energy until I looked at my calendar and I was like, oh. So for me, it's, it's becoming more and more interesting as I'm really looking at what's happening in my life, like looking at all the little puzzle pieces. And then I'm trying to relate that like, okay, does, does this shift, does this cosmic shift actually affect me? Or is this just a really nice Instagram post that, you know, we're just going to be posting about what Mercury retrograde is. But in all fairness, like, regardless if you're looking at it through a skepticism lens, or you're looking at it through the spiritually driven lens, either way, we're looking at it. Like I said, I'm sort of halfway in the middle right there where, you know, like I will tune in to the new moon and I will tune in to how the cosmos are doing and how astrology is doing, but I will not give it so much power that it will sort of determine my life decisions because ultimately where things are shifting in my life is going to be completely up to me. And whether that's re retrograde or new moon or full moon or solar eclipse or otherwise, I think that at some point, no matter where we're at cosmically, no matter where we're at spiritually, no matter where we're at in our lives, at some point in the future, we need to take some level of ownership where we kind of take ownership for the good and the bad. So I mean, you know, this is it should not be like this spiritual blanket that we pull over your, our eyes and then not really do anything about our lives. You know what I mean? I just kind of like it when people sort of own what you own like do the do do you you know what i mean just do you like that's all you need to do wow rambled on long enough okay this is all i really wanted to share with you guys i hope that you find this helpful i hope that you find this useful let me know in the comments below if you are finding that mercury retrograde is kicking your butt or not i have been noticing a massive shift i'm understanding it now more and i'm working with it rather than really fighting it and I will post a couple of Instagram accounts that I have found super helpful. Um, I found one Instagram account that I thought that that was really interesting where he kind of broke down every single astrological sign, how this retrograde will potentially impact you. But ultimately, it's kind of up to you. Like I said, it's kind of up to you, like how much power you give it. So if you don't believe in astrology, then it's kind of like, why are we here? And if you do believe in it, then, you know, it just, the more information you have, the more informed you are, I think, the better. So hope you guys find this helpful and useful. If you did give it a thumbs up, you already know what to do. You can, you can subscribe to the channel if you are brand new here. We usually shoot for about three videos per week here. And we kind of talk a little bit about, you know, videos like this one where we're talking about spirituality and spiritual practices. Sometimes we talk about zero waste and green beauty products and how we can really just become more conscious consumers, more conscious humans in general, and how we can really manage our health and our mental health in a more holistic way. So because I go into a few different topics within a week, then you might not actually know what's coming up next. So I usually release a recap email every single weekend. This sort of breaks down some of the best takeaways from each of my videos. And I also show you what's coming up for the following week. So then that way you're not missing anything. If you wanted to sign up, 
link is down in the description so you can sign up completely free and complimentary in the meanwhile happy retrograde you guys i hope you guys have a wonderful day and just keep shining and take the power back because you're so much more powerful than you give yourself credit for and i'll see you guys again next time bye